Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Nuggets. Today's top topic is Lewis Dockhorst of Rock Sulfite Ion SO3 2 minus. So let's start the video. Sulfite ion having sulfur and oxygen. Sulfur atomic number is 16 and oxygen atomic number is 8. So valence electron in sulfur is 2, 8, and 6. The 6 large shell electrons are the valence electron. For oxygen, it will be 2 and 6. So 6 and 6 both. Let us calculate the total valence electrons. That will be for sulfur it is 6 plus for oxygen 3 into 6 because 3 oxygen atoms and for 2 minus it means 2 additional electrons are included. So we will add 2 electrons here. Now calculate 6 is 18 plus 2 20 and 6 26. So we have total valence electron 26. Now start it. We will draw. We have here sulfur we will put in the center and 3 oxygen in the surrounding. The reason behind is the atom which is less in number in the compound is called as central atom and the atom which is more in number that is called surrounding atom. So here sulfur will be central atom and oxygen will be surrounding atom. So first of all we will make single bond using two electron each. These are called bonds and the electrons which are used are called bond pair electrons. Now how many bond pair electrons are there? Bond pair electrons it will be 2, 2, 4, 2, 6. 6 bond pair electrons. Now we will calculate the lone pair electrons. It, the formula A is total valence electrons minus bond pair electrons. It will be 26 minus 6 that is 20. So these 20 electrons we will use to complete the octet of surrounding atom and the central atom. If the octet is not complete by the lone pair, then what we will do? We will use these as a lone pair. So first we will use as a lone pair. If not possible, then we will use either double bond or triple bond. So let's start. First we will put the surrounding atom. So this oxygen has in, have it in two electrons. We will give six more. So it is having eight now. This uh, again we will give six electrons plus two already. Eight electrons here also. Like this we can do. See now six which was at eighteen electrons we already gave as a lone pair. Now two left. So we will give it to the sulfur. Twenty electrons completed. 20 lone pairs of electrons are adjusted. All the octets are fulfilled. All the three oxygen having octet, sulfur is having octet. Is this structure correct? I will say no because we still have two minus charge to put on. If octet is complete, where should we put the minus charge? First question. Secondly, the doubt is here. Sulfur never shows the covalency of 3. Either it will show the covalency of 2, 4 or 6. Here sulfur is showing covalency of 3. That is wrong. So this structure is incorrect. The correct structure will be something. What we will do? We will have a... We will remove this double bond from one of the oxygen and lone pair and make a double bond like this. In this way, this oxygen is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons. Octet is completed. Now sulfur is showing its valency. 4 covalency showing that is also completed. Now the question is where to put the minus charge? Which of the oxygen is acquiring the minus charge? So, so, I already told in earlier videos that if oxygen is having double bond, 
it have no charge if oxygen having one bond it will have one minus charge and it is having three bonds or triple bond it will require a plus charge so here this oxygen having minus one charge and this oxygen having minus one charge that will be our correct structure so if we want to check further we will check the formal charges so it will be clear let's number the, this will be oxygen number a this will be oxygen b this will be oxygen c and the sulfur is a d atom so the formula for the formal charge it will be valence electrons minus lone pair electrons minus bond pair electrons upon 2 so formal charge on a valence electrons for oxygen it will be 6 as i told you earlier minus lone pair how many lone pairs are there 1 2 3 4 4 four electrons as a lone pair minus bond pair how many electrons 1 2 3 4 Four upon two. Let's calculate it. Two four minus two. It will be two. So six minus four two and two two minus two. It will be zero. So on atom number A, that is oxygen, the formal charge is zero. Now check on the atom number B. Valence electron on oxygen number B. Is six minus check the lone pair one two three four five six six lone pair electrons and bond pair electrons two bond with two two by two zero two by two one six minus is zero so the formal charge is minus one same will be on C we can check B or C we can say B or C both are same so minus one charge will on b b and on the c now we'll check on the d b it means sulfur so formal uh, valence electrons for sulfur is six then lone pair of electrons how many lone pair one two two electrons only as lone pair and how many bond pair electrons one two three four five six seven eight eight upon me two now Two ones are two, two twos are four. So six minus two, four. Four minus four is zero. Again for sulfur it is zero. So sulfur we are not giving any charge for oxygen A. We are not giving any charge for B and C because both the number of electrons, valence electrons, everything is same. Is so that both having B and C having minus one charge. And the diagram is now completed. we can say this is the exact lewis structure of so 3 to minus that's all for today in this video if you have doubt you can write a comment in the comment section till then keep studying thank you